Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Am I clearly audible and visible to you? Is it coming clearly on your end? Yes. Good afternoon. Yeah, you are uh, absolutely fine. Uh, like your video and audio both. Fantastic, fantastic. And your sis too. So, how are you doing today? Yes, I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. And how about you? Well, I do enjoy talking to you know new learners like you. So I'm doing wonderful as well. Oh, Thank that's you so great. much for asking. Yeah. So I believe this is the first time that we are connecting, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Could you please tell me a bit about yourself? What brings you to English Shari and uh, also a bit about your work life and personal life? Yeah, sure. So as you know, my name is Tanuja and I'm from Bhopal city. And about my qualification, I have done engineering in IT stream. And currently I'm a working professional in one of the IT company. And it's been five years that I'm working in this field. And uh, about my hobbies, I love drawing, dancing and traveling sometimes. That's all about me. Those are some varieties of hobbies like drawing, dancing, and uh, what traveling great so yeah. how do you manage all those hobbies do, do you get time to manage yeah, not to, really to but, yeah. uh, but yeah. on weekends sometimes i try to do drawing if i'm not going outside and if i have time to go outside outside so i just try to go and visit any places nearby me or sometimes if i have long weekends so i just try to visit some other places as well at a distance right Yes. Right. So what was the last uh, fun long weekend you had and where uh, did you go? Actually, we had planned uh, one vacation uh, that was the Rajasthan. I went to Rajasthan and uh, yeah, we enjoyed a lot. And uh, like there are so many different places that we visited and that are very famous. And the good thing is I met with one foreigners as well. So I enjoyed a lot. Uh, I just tried to talk with her but yeah that time i was too nervous i was not able to talk properly so yeah if i'll get chance to again talk with uh, like any foreigners so i want to do again then you know let me complete you know let me fulfill your desire okay uh, of doing that so what would you like to the uh, what would you like to talk to a foreigner for example imagine mm -hmm. a scenario right you are in rajasthan Right, okay. at uh, a very a very famous historical uh, fort, which is the fort of Udaipur, right? Mm -hmm. Because usually there are a lot of foreigners coming there, right? And let's say I'm a tourist from Italy, right? And I'm I'm uh, I'm lost. I'm actually taking photos, and I'm a little lost, and I'm there, and you want to talk with me, right? So how would you initiate your conversation? Let's let's do have a role play. Okay. Okay. So I have to assume that you are a foreigner and you lost. Uh, you lost. You don't know I'm lost. You don't know, right? It's mm -hmm. it's just that I'm I'm giving. You think that I'm lost. I'm giving you a cue, right? To start the conversation. You think I'm lost. It's not confirmed for you, right? So you can come and approach me. Okay. So I will try just. Uh... Excuse me, uh, are you looking a little uh, worried? So uh, do you have anything or uh, can I assist you uh, in any possible ways? Yeah, no, actually, uh, I, I, uh, I'm i trying to find my way to the cafe or any place that I can uh, get a quick snack. But uh, the Google Map is not working. Could you please assist me with that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so here uh, you have, uh, like nearby, we have one uh, famous restaurant. So you can get any kind of snacks and also food as well. Uh, so I would suggest you to, uh, that restaurant is very famous here. So you can visit and yeah, you will definitely enjoy the food there. And I can guide you the path as well. Like uh, here it is like uh, five, 500 meters is away from here. So you have to just go straight and then uh, you have to take one left and then you will find uh, find that restaurant. Okay, so um, as a foreigner, you know, 
I am not really sure of how straight or how long your straight means, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're giving the directions, try to also be a little specific for them, you know, because in um, abroad, when they give direction, they also mention specific parameters or, you know, also in India also that way they do, but in our language, so we don't, um, you know, translate that or understand while we are giving directions in English. For example, you'd have to go about 200 meters straight mm -hmm. out of the entrance. And uh, uh, when you would see um, an ATM of the SBI bank, take a left, okay? And uh, on the corner, you could find the restaurant. Okay. It's huge and the lighting says, so right, describe as well. The oh, um, that, that would be, uh, thank you so much for the direction. But uh, I really, um, I'm afraid of the Indian spices. So uh, I hope that I'd be able to get some less spicy food over there. Can you suggest me something which is not that spicy in, in here, which I can try? Okay, but in India, like uh, we are too obsessed with the spices. <laughs> but yeah, it's really hard to get such kind of food, uh, like less spicy. But yeah, we have uh, some other uh, food and uh, the other other uh, cuisine as well that you can try. Uh, that is not too Indian. Cuisines. 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 Yeah, we. It's like we, you know, Q W something. Cuisines, cuisines, yeah, cuisines. Yeah, I have heard a lot about them, but I'm really afraid of the spices because I am traveling and I don't want to take any sort of risk. So if you can give me some names of the dishes which are less spicy, okay. so you can try sandwich or maybe uh, the dosa that is less spicy. So you ah. can. The dosa sambar yeah. in southern India. Wow. So is it available in northern part of India as well? Yeah, wow, definitely. I'm surprised. Yeah, mm. yeah. Definitely, uh, like in India, you can find different kind of cuisines. Uh, so yeah, like South Indian, the and the uh, what we call Chinese and other other food as well. So you can try here. That would be great. Thank you so much. I'll definitely try that. Now, see, the conversation might end here right? because you two are strangers, right? Mm -hmm. So the conversation can end here. But if you want more from this conversation, you can you can be a little direct here as well, right? You can ask the foreigner about himself or herself if he or she seems interested in the conversation. Yes. Okay. So it really depends on um, the scenario. You can get it, right? If you're talking with a person, you can really get from their expressions if they're really interested in that or not, right? Yeah, exactly. It's very important to first, you know, respect the person's space, right? Sometimes they are more interested in you than you are in them. So they might ask you like, oh, um, would you mind joining me? Uh, for a quick lunch or uh, if you guys are free you can join and uh, we can hang out later if there is a good place to hang out so this is a question for mine you know as a foreigner how would you respond to that give me two responses first one uh, you're interested uh, the first one you're not interested Vala. how would you respond if you're not interested if I'm not interested or they are not interested. If I asked you, so it's, I'm definitely interested. I asked you sort of to hang out as a foreigner. Okay, so if I'll be comfortable, then uh, uh, I will just say, say that, yes, we can definitely go. And uh, yeah, we can hang out together. And I will, uh, I will try to know about them also, like where are. Just ask me, just not, let's not, uh, you know, um, create the theory, just ask me the question. Like, let's get back to the conversation. Huh. Okay, so Respond. may I ask that where are you from? Uh, like, which sure. Country? Um, I'm from Canada. Ooh, Canada. And uh, so, how did you find India? Like, you are visiting here. Ah, uh, I have, I had heard a lot from my friends that India is 
so diverse and a lot of cultures and i'm actually experiencing that but i had uh, not anticipated uh, the hotness to be this warm it's it's too hot in here it's too hot the weather is something that uh, i hadn't thought of that's this hot harsh but the place is cool it's really nice well yeah so you in, uh, you are enjoying here uh, and may i know that which uh, which kind of places you visited so far well to be frank uh, i had just boarded the uh, on a flight yesterday and uh, i reached um, rajasthan okay it's only been a day okay so it's sort of my first day that i'm exploring the place i have yet to explore a lot of things in here so what are your recommendations what are the best places to visit for me because i don't have an itinerary chali well so if you want to di- uh, visit different states so i would i would suggest south part especially uh, like tamil nadu and kerala that is a very beautiful places and you will definitely enjoy the scenery uh, and the nature as well so if you are a nature lover so you will definitely enjoy kerala and the, this kind of places is the south part and in north part we have uh, the other places like uh, uh, like jammu kashmir and the, uh, himachal so this kind of places also you can visit it uh, so here you can visit. find the yeah, you can visit uh, you can find the snow and the like hill stations uh, are there so you can visit here hmm i have heard a lot about jammu kashmir and the snow but uh, given the uh, weather would you think that it would be the best place to visit in this weather um in in this hot weather Do you think it's okay better to go to the to Jammu Kashmir or uh, it's better to explore the southern part of India? Yeah, you can visit in this time as well, because but you will not find the snow. Uh, you will not find snow uh, in this time. So mm-hmm. at the, this at this time at this time of the year, yeah. At this time of year, so you can visit uh, some other places that is not a snow area. Okay, that's not that snowy. So, okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Uh, we can definitely discuss about the places at the lunch. So, uh, when can we go at the restaurant? Are you guys done exploring the place, or uh, is there anything else left that we can explore in this place here? Uh. Yes, I am also new in this place, uh, like in Rajasthan. So, uh, I would suggest I have visited some of the places only that are very famous here uh, in Rajasthan. But still, some of the places are left. So, I want to visit there. And if you want to talk, if you want to go for a lunch, so I have heard uh, the very good restaurant here. Uh, oh, so, I've heard about a very, oh, very. I have heard a. Ve- Uh-huh. About, I'm um, heard about it. You can just go. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah. Yes. Uh, A foreigner will not mind your grammar. Okay. So you know you don't have to worry about it. Like, uh, here we are having a conversation. I'm trying to give you feedback as well. That's why I'm doing it. A foreigner will never mind the grammar. They don't care about it. Mostly. Okay. The one thing is I don't get confidence. You know. Uh, like you are I confident. Know that... <laughs> you're good. Just, just. Okay. Let's let's go for lunch. All right. Okay. and let's let's talk while we are walking yeah hmm so what do you like about your country okay uh, in my country i would say that uh, india has a diverse culture uh, and if you will visit any uh, different states as well so you will uh, find the different uh, different cuisine different culture and there are so many differences are there even in states as well if you will uh, go to different states uh, so that is the good part and uh, the second one is indian people are uh, like more family oriented <laughs> so like they indians, love, indians are uh, very family oriented uh, so they they live with them uh, their family and they respect them uh, uh, so that is the thing i like a lot Uh, and mm-hmm. i have heard in uh, 
like in western culture like people just give value to individualism uh what individualism yeah. they they respect more individualism or yes, they are personal more freedom individualistic yeah yes they give more value to personal freedom so this this kind of thing are different in india so i like this things a lot fantastic i i have heard a lot about that and i think you guys don't even move out right i think you live with your family yeah you are right yeah so how is that uh, have you ever thought of visiting the abroad yes i want to visit uh, if i'll get the chance to visit any uh, any different country so definitely i want to visit uh, so i have heard most most uh, about new york new york city so firstly i want to visit there uh, yeah new york well that's um, that's a big bustling city of us although i don't really think that uh, it's a great place to visit i mean there are there's not much to explore mm -hmm. and uh, apart from that uh, it is pretty costly for there and what you see on social media is not really true okay, okay. this the city stinks <laughs> i don't want to kill i don't want to kill uh, your dream of visiting new york but i uh, you know i would uh, encourage you to visit canada okay maybe you will find a good person to host you over there there are beautiful cities as well you know yeah. Yeah, better than New York. Yeah, yeah, I will think about it. <laughs> and even even the visa is easier to get. Yes. Than US. Yeah. Yeah, even in so, India, uh, like I have seen that so many people, uh, they migrate, uh, to in uh, to Canada for their uh, job purpose. Uh, so I have heard these things a lot. Yeah, I mean sometimes I, uh, you know, feel that. Uh, i'm visiting another india yeah because there are so many indians in canada right and uh, they have made a beautiful community mm -hmm. and this is what i love about indians so wherever they go they make uh it feel like their home hmm? yes yeah all right team then let's let's have our lunch what would you like to order <laughs> you you tell your favorite dish or uh, because uh, i already have i know that uh, indian cuisine will be quite different for you and uh, i mean see you know the person doesn't know about indian dish okay and you want him to order wow so i'll say you know the foreigner will say that um, well thank you so much for the courtesy but uh, uh, given that i have no idea of what's what tastes like uh, tastes like what and and you already know what i would like to have so what would you recommend me to have i am i'm ready to you know take the challenge okay so if i'll talk about my favorite so you can try those as well maybe you will also like it uh, like the badge biryani and the momos that i like a lot so i would suggest you to try this uh so you can also find this like delicious so yes you can ah momos yes yeah 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 i have uh, tried that once in my life um but uh, those are not really spicy so we can surely have momos right and uh, i like surely so then the waiter comes okay then you order it and then we are having it so what is this green thing that they have with the momos what is this green thing okay so we in indian we call it uh, chutney india in india we call it uh, chutney it is it is made of uh, i don't know how it is made <laughs> coriander uh, leaves i guess uh, coriander leaves mint leaves mint, mint leaves yes garlic ginger yes some table you know depends on how spicy you want it 
green chilies green uh, chilies then uh, it can have some salt as well then some black pepper then a lot of things depending on the recipe as a, as an indian you should know the recipe of green chutney by heart okay yeah yeah you are right <laughs> exactly that's that's the main important thing hmm. yes okay wow um okay so, so um, have you ever can i tried, have you ever tried this chutney uh, in your place i am seeing this for the first time i mean we we have a lot of drinks which uh, looks of the same color mm -hmm. but this is my first time trying it so i'm i'm taking my chances so how do you eat this uh, so like so i use a spoon after having a bite or why how should we or can i drink it huh because what they usually do what what they what they do is like they take the chutney and they like like you know take a shot of it so you have to stop me oh, no, so no, can i like taste it no we don't have to drink this we have to just eat it uh, like you have to just take a momo uh, by your mm -hmm. hand and uh, just put it in the chutney okay and then you have to eat it okay so um, can can you just demonstrate what what you just did what you just said okay you have to take take a momo in your hand and then you have mm. to put it in a chutney dip not put dip nip take the momo take 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 a momo and we don't say momos momo correct hota hai momo momo is correct hota hai mostly okay mm -hmm. usko momo hi bolta hai plural bhi usko momo hi hota hai so you say oh my god i got to hindi so take uh, the momo in your hand and dip it in the cream chutney and voila take a bite yeah. right yeah Oh my god give me some water that is so spicy wow but it ah it tastes phenomenal great fantastic thank you so much for letting me experience this i can't stop eating so that's it oh that's See? nice to hear that you liked it <laughs> of course i i loved it i loved it and can can't wait for the biryani They will not pronounce biryani. I don't know how they say it. Alien would, uh, how the Canadian would pronounce biryani? They say like biryani, biryani. Yes. I have to learn the accent. You know, even they find even they find difficulties while pronouncing our name as well. I work with you know foreign people, so they don't Foreigners. even pronounce my name uh, correctly. <laughs> Tanusha. Yes. How are you, Tanusha? Yes, they call in this way only. <laughs> Please, please unmute yourself, Tanusha. Yes. Hello, Tanu. Tanu, you're not audible. Okay. Yeah, they they tell like like this only. <laughs> Speak like this. I I get it. I get it. And uh, you know, it, it's it's good if you are. And if they are from Europe, then the way it's pronounced is completely different. You know, they pronounce all like ah and jo like ya. Yeah, so it's like it will be like hello, Tanu ya. Hmm. Yes. Hello, Tanu ya. Like that. So it's. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. I hope you have enjoyed with the foreigner. Let me get back to the, you know, real me. So, coming to the feedback, all in all, you are doing great. You just have the self, you know, doubt in yourself, which you need to avoid. And I hope this conversation have helped you with that. Okay, has helped you with that. It's pretty easy to have conversation with anyone. Just uh, you know, when you get beyond um, the aspect of impressing the person and expressing yourself right mm -hmm. rather than you know always saying that what he would think about me you should have a clear picture of what you think about yourself right what tanuja thinks of tanuja not what you know i did not even give a for now let's say alex for now what alex thinks of tanuja does not matter hmm? mm -hmm. so i think this will help you to go on a momo date with a foreigner okay <laughs> one you know all the best with that there are few grammatical errors which you can actually improve okay um for example you were making mistakes in prepositions and you are again also making mistakes a little bit in subject verb agreement like has have got it 
that is something that you can work on. Apart from that, you're good. Okay, you can take it to the next level just by being a little bit confident. Okay, definitely. And transition as well. All right, do you have any doubts? Uh, no, no. <laughs> How did you enjoy the Momo? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed this conversation as well. Uh, okay. Yeah. And my favorite I, I... one is Momo as well. <laughs> Momo. Yeah, now the Momo uh, you know, made my mouth water, so I'm going to eat something now. I don't have Momo here. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, have a wonderful day. Okay? Yes, Take care. Thank Keep you, practicing. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.